Hey everybody, Brightboo here, and today I want to talk about Duke Nukem Forever. I want to talk about that mod that just came out for the 2011 Duke Nukem Forever. I also want to talk about the 2001 Duke Nukem Forever Restoration Project. I cannot believe that somebody figured out how to mod Duke Nukem Forever, the 2011 version. Ever since it came out, it was unmoddable. I thought modding this game was an impossibility, but here you have it. The Duke Nukem Forever Enhanced Mod. Now, this mod doesn't change much. It just tweaks some of the gameplay. And one of the things it does is remove the weapons limit. So, yeah, you can carry all the le the... Sorry. All the weapons like you could in Duke 3D. It's amazing how much little changes make to this game. Already, it feels more like a Duke Nukem game than it ever did. Now don't get me wrong, this mod is nowhere near where it intends to go. I'm just saying, the few changes that it implements, the little ones, make quite a significant change to the gameplay already. I read that this mod will eventually include expanded levels, and that will be fantastic because that's much needed in this game. Now this didn't surprise me as much, but I'm sure glad it's happening. A small development team called Mighty Foot Productions is building upon the original Duke Nukem Forever 2001 build to make it the game that it supposedly was to be. And their work so far is quite impressive. Even the unedited Duke Nukem Forever 2001 build shows a lot of potential even though there wasn't much in it. Like in DNF 2011, you start out in Duke's casino called the Lady Killer. However, it's way more fun than in DNF 2011. The casino building is so much more spacious in this game. And you're not a slave to any scripts, so you have the freedom to walk around and do whatever you want, which makes it uh, a lot more fun. In general, everything's a lot more fun in this game. Without having to explain too much, I guess I can say that everything DNF 2011 got wrong, DNF 2001 had right. So, you want to try these out for yourself? Links are in the description. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.